So we've talked about how um, conjugate zeros come in pairs. Um, let's just do a little bit of building. Um, one of the things that I'm going to want you to be able to do is find zeros, but I'm also going to want you to be able to build an equation if I give you the zeros. So I'll tell you that uh, you have zeros. It's a quadratic. So, you know, it has a uh, x squared in it. And the zeros are 5 and negative 3. So let's use that information to try and build up a, uh, build up a formula for it. So I know it's going to be like, it's going to have an x squared in it. It's quadratic. It has these two zeros is the only ones that I know about. So um, let's see. If I had factored something and got those at zeros, think about where those would have had to come from. So the, the 5 is an answer to something that makes a 0. So it's going to be, it would come from x minus 5. Notice if I plug 5 into there, it makes that a 0. The negative 3 would have had to come from an x plus 3 by the same um, argument. Negative 3 plugging in, it makes a 0. And I know that y is equal to that. You could use f of x there or whatever. So um, now my last step is just to multiply this out. So let's see, x times x is x squared. Negative 5 times x is negative 5x. Um, what else do I need? Oh yeah, x times 3 is 3x. Negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. So I have uh, x squared. Notice that's a minus 2x, minus 15. And there it is. That's it. Um, so there's an example. If, if I give you a couple zeros and it's just a quadratic, I can build it up and get the equation, or, or at least a equation that has those zeros. Let's try one that's a little trickier. Uh, I'm going to tell you it's a cubic. So, you know, it's a third degree polynomial. And the zeros that you know are 3 and uh, 2 plus i. So, um, that actually tells you something. If 2 plus i is a 0, goes back to that conjugate relationship, then 2 minus i must be. So let me think about where these would come from. Um, this is three things, three zeros. So it's going to be three things all multiplied together. One of them being x minus three. One of them being x minus this, two plus i. And one of them being this, x minus two minus i. And now what I have to do is multiply these all together. So I'm going to give you some technique on this. Uh, the x minus 3, let's just leave it like it is. I'm going to distribute that negative sign into there. So notice I have x minus 2 minus i. And then distribute that negative sign into there. Notice I have x minus 2 plus i. Now, um, I'm, going to do, I'm going to multiply these two together first. And again, like I said, I was going to show you some technique. I could just like distribute everything to everything. Go x times x, x times negative 2, x times i, negative 2 times x, negative 2 times negative 2, and then combine like terms. You'll get there if you do it that way. That's not a problem. Um, I'm going to take advantage of a little, a little something that I understand. Uh, x minus 2. I'm going to treat this as x minus 2 minus i times... And again, I'm going to group that x minus 2 in the second set, in this second set, and write this as plus i. So now, I'm going to treat this x minus 2 like it's um, just its own thing. So I'll go x minus 2 times x minus 2. So that's x minus 2 squared. And then I'll go x minus 2 times i. So that'd be plus x minus 2 times i. And then negative i times um, x minus 2. So that would be minus, because it's a negative times a positive. Um, x minus 2 times i. Notice what happens is this middle term is going to drop out. You, you just basically set it up so it's like difference of squares. And then you have negative i times i. Uh, negative. Negative times a positive is negative. i times i is i squared. Whew. Uh, so let's do this. Uh, this is a 0 x minus 2i minus itself. i squared, let me think about negative i squared. i squared is negative 1. So it's negative negative 1. So this is going to be a plus 1 here. And then x minus 2 squared. 
okay, do not do this. Uh, this is the mistake that I see all the time in, in this class, um, in calculus all across the board, is people will just go, oh, that's just x squared minus 4. Um, it's not. So uh, remember, when you square something, that means times itself. So x minus 2 squared is x minus 2 times x minus 2. So you have to foil that out or multiply it however you want. x times x is x squared. Um, x times negative 2 is negative 2x. Uh, negative 2 times x is negative 2x. So my middle term is negative is minus 4x. And then negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. I can combine those to a 5. So this, this thing multiplies out to x squared minus 4x plus 5. And we do all that work, and we're still uh, not done. We're not done yet. So we still have a bit of stuff to do here. Let me make my eraser bigger. Because all that we did is we just multiplied out this and this. And we got that. So that is still multiplied uh, by the x minus 3. And I don't know why I said multiplied funny. So that's that part right there. Clear this up. So this times this became that. So notice right now these zeros, this 2 plus i and this 2 minus i, is here. And so like if we were to run this through quadratic formula, we would get those two answers. But it's still multiplied by that x minus 3. Remember our goal is to come up with an equation for a cubic that has all three of these zeros. So now I have to multiply this by this. So there's really no kind of shortcut for this, I'm just going to power it out. x times x squared is x cubed. x times negative 4x is negative 4x squared. x times 5 is 5x. And then I'll keep going. Negative 3 times x squared is negative 3x squared. A negative 3 times negative 4x. A negative times negative is positive. So that's positive 12x. A negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. Combine up some like terms. I just lined it up like this so, so my like terms would line up. You don't have to do it that way if you don't like. X cubed. Uh, negative 4 of them minus 3 of them is negative 7 of them. Of them. Uh, 5 of them and 12 of them. 17 of them. Minus 15. And there it is. So a lot of work. Um, but we can get there. And notice, if you didn't like my shortcut, I'm going to go back to this part right here. If you didn't like my shortcut uh, that I used for that, you know, you, you can really go. You don't have to worry about the grouping. And you'll, you'll get there. Just go x times x is x squared. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. x times i is xi. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 2 oops, is a positive 4. You have to be careful about lining things up if you're going to do it this way. Uh, negative 2 times i is negative 2i. And then negative i times x is negative xi. Negative i times negative 2. Notice it's a negative times a negative. Positive 2i. Negative i times i, that's negative i squared. i squared is negative 1, so it's positive 1. And then notice that drops out, uh, that drops out, and you end up with x squared minus 4x plus 5, which is what we had there. You can do it this way if you didn't like my grouping thing. All right, so you just watched me do a problem like this, and uh, what I'm going to do now I'm leaving this up for a sec in case you're frantically writing stuff down still. Um, if you're still awake, um, I'm going to give you a problem that I'm, I'm going to ask. I'm going to have the video stop, and then I'm going to have you do it. Um, I'm going to have you talk about it as a group, and then I'll show a solution to it. So what I would like you to do, um, it's going to be a cubic, just like before, just like the example we just did. So it'll have an x cubed in it, a degree 3. And the zeros that I'm going to tell you about, are um, 2 and 4 plus i. So again, find a, uh, find a cubic. I want you to do this right now. 
find a cubic that has the following zeros, 2 and 4 plus i.